Good morning dear students let us have a look at this question from J advanced 2017 this question is from the rotation chapter so let us first analyze the question one twirls a circular ring of mass capital M and radius capital R near the tip of one's finger so this is a ring here which is of mass capital M and radius capital R now we are twirling this ring so the ring is being twirled now in the process the finger never loses contact with the inner rim of the ring so we can see here that the finger which is there here it is not losing contact with the inner rim of the ring so this is the inner rim of the ring and the finger is not losing contact the finger traces out the surface of a cone as shown so this finger here traces out the surface of a cone so i have drawn the cone here so this finger is tracing out the surface of a cone the radius of the path traced out by the point where the ring and the finger is in contact is r so the radius of this path so the finger is uh, moving like this and this is a point which is in contact with the finger and the ring and this radius that you see this radius is smaller the finger rotates with an angular velocity omega not so this finger here is uh, rotating with angular velocity omega not next the rotating ring rolls without slipping on the outside of a smaller circle described by the point where ring and the finger are in contact so this seems to be like a really long sentence let us uh, cut it into two so first the rotating ring rolls without slipping on the outside of a smaller circle so this is the rotating ring it is rolling without slipping on the outside of this smaller circle okay so there is a the first part the ring is rolling without slipping on the outside of the smaller circle next described by the point where ring and the finger is in contact so he is saying that this smaller circle is described by where this ring and this ring and finger are in contact so this ring and finger are in contact at all these points so this smaller circle is described by those points next the coefficient of friction between the ring and the finger is mu and the acceleration due to gravity is g the coefficient of friction between the finger and the ring is mu and acceleration due to gravity is g the first question the total kinetic energy of the ring is so the first question the total kinetic energy of the ring is so the kinetic energy of this ring can be written as half i into omega square this i is the moment of inertia about the instantaneous axis of rotation and omega is its angular velocity so if we find these two quantities we can find the kinetic energy of this ring i have joined two points on this ring one point which is in contact with the finger and the diametrically opposite point so this is just an imaginary line which i have drawn now let us start rotating this ring while rotating what i want you to observe is is there any axis or what is the axis about which this ring is rotating okay so try to figure that out when the ring is rotating have drawn the position of the ring at two instances one is this and the other is this you can see that the point here is at rest okay you can see that the point here is at rest and this ring is rotating about this point so we can say the instantaneous axis of rotation is passing through this point perpendicular to the 
plane of the ring the radius of this ring is r and this radius here is small r so you see this is small r so this distance this will be capital r minus small r so the distance of the instantaneous axis of rotation from the center of the ring is r minus small r so from parallel axis theorem we can write the moment of inertia about this axis is moment of inertia about center of mass plus m into this distance square so the moment of inertia about uh, instantaneous axis of rotation is mr square plus m into r minus small r the whole square now let us move on to omega we have seen that when the finger was here this line was like this when the finger came here this line is like this okay which means when the finger has turned by theta this line has turned by theta which means if the finger has an angular velocity omega then this line or this ring also has an angular velocity omega and he has given that omega as omega not in this question so omega equals to omega not so the total kinetic energy of the ring is half mr square plus m into r minus r whole square into omega not square the next question is the minimum value of omega not below which the ring will drop down is so what is the minimum angular velocity with which this must be rotated the ring must be rotated so that it does not drop down so let us first draw the free body diagram of the ring first we have the gravitational force mg acting from the ring's center next we have the normal reaction force due to the finger on the ring so the finger is in contact here finger exerts a normal reaction force on the ring in this direction now the, because the ring tends to go down there is a frictional force which acts on the ring in upward direction at the point of contact where the finger is in contact with the ring now let us analyze the forces on this ring due to the normal force the center of mass has a centripetal acceleration in this direction next the friction and the mg balance each other so that is why the ring is uh, not moving up or down next if you take torque about this point here okay if you take torque about this point the torque due to these two forces is zero the torque due to f and n is zero but there is a non zero torque due to mg okay there is a non zero torque due to mg due to which this ring will not stay horizontal okay this ring will be slanted like this this ring will be slanted like this and if this ring is slanted like this the directions of f and n also change again i'm repeating if we take the torque about this point here there is mg force due to which there is an unbalanced torque so this ring cannot be in this position it has to tilt like this now when the ring tilts like this the direction of friction and normal also change now as he has given in the question that the ring is horizontal in the diagram he has given that the ring is horizontal we are going to take it as horizontal and we are going to solve it in actual case this is not possible because he has given in exam in the diagram he has given it horizontal we are going to take it like this and solve it i feel pity for the students writing the exam that at that instant they need to get the idea to take this assumption it is very difficult in the exam to get the idea to take such an assumption so i really pity the students who are writing the exam and uh, what i want to say here is that such mistakes will happen okay in every paper there will be one or two small mistakes or places where he would have uh, not given what to assume so don't worry about that the rest of the paper you solve properly if you feel something is not given with clarity it's better to leave it or you know just give it a try don't waste too much time on it so this is one such question where there is not that much clarity the first part a of the question was uh, uh, given uh, plus 3 to everyone 
even in part b if we see we need to take some assumptions and then only we get to the answer so now let us have a look at this ring while it is rotating center of mass is rotating in a circle of radius capital m, capital r minus small r the centripetal force is n so we can write n equals to m into r minus small r into omega naught square in the vertical direction we can write f minus mg equal to 0 next we can write this f is lesser than or equal to mu n which is the limiting friction in the next step we can write f as capital m into g i have written small m here this is capital m okay so capital mg lesser than or equal to mu into this is the normal reaction so the normal reaction I have written it here so capital mg lesser than or equal to mu m into r minus r into omega naught square taking mu into r minus r to the denominator we get omega naught greater than or equal to under root g by mu into r minus r so the minimum value of omega naught is under root g by mu into r minus small r 